reflection and refraction of plane waves using Huygens principle. First, let us discuss about refraction of a plane wave. Consider two media 1 and 2. Medium 1 is a rarer medium and medium 2 is a denser medium. Let XY be a plane surface separating the two media. Let V1 and V2 be the velocities of light in medium 1 and medium 2 respectively. Now consider a plane wave front AB propagating in this direction. A dash A is incident on the interface XY at an angle I. The secondary wavelet from B strikes the surface XY at the point C in a time tau. Then BC is equal to V1 tau. During the same time tau, the secondary wavelet from A will travel a distance of V2 tau in the denser medium. To determine the shape of the refracted wave front from A, let us draw a sphere of radius V2 tau from point A in medium 2. Now draw a tangent plane from point C to the sphere. We will call this point as E. This plane CE represents the refracted wave front and the angle ACE is equal to R represents angle of refraction. From triangle ABC, sin I is equal to BC by AC which is equal to V1 tau divided by AC. And from triangle AEC, sin R is equal to AE divided by AC which is equal to V2 tau divided by AC. Therefore, sin I divided by sin R is equal to V1 tau divided by AC whole divided by V2 tau divided by AC. This is equal to V1 by V2. Since V1 is constant in medium 1 and V2 is constant in medium 2, we have sin I by sin R is equal to V1 by V2 which is equal to a constant. This equation represents Snell's law of refraction. Reflection of a plane view. Consider a reflecting surface XY. Now let a plane wave front AB be incident on the reflecting surface at an angle I. The secondary wavelet from B will strike the surface XY at point C in time tau. Then BC is equal to V tau. At the same time, the secondary wavelet from A will get reflected and travel the same distance V tau in the same medium. To determine the shape of the reflected wave front from A, draw a sphere of radius V tau from point A. Now draw a tangent plane from point C to the sphere. Let's call this point as E. The plane CE represents the reflected wave front and the angle ECA is the angle of reflection. Now from the triangles EAC and the triangle BAC, we have angle AEC is equal to angle ABC which is equal to 90 degrees. Side AE and side BC are both equal to V tau and AC is common for both the triangles. Therefore, we can say that triangle EAC and triangle BAC are congruent. Therefore, angle I and angle R should be equal. 
This is the law of reflection. Thus, Huygens' law successfully explained laws of reflection and refraction.